Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I get this big, sexy, voluminous hair using my Bombay wand. This is the gold wand. It's a 32 millimeter. I love all their wands. I've used them in previous videos. So I thought I would just do kind of a quick overview of how I curl my hair. There's different ways to do it, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is clip up half of your hair. I have super thick hair, so you can do this in three sections or two depending. I did two today. And I take a pretty big chunk of hair, and I think that's what makes the difference. I don't get waves, I just get curls. You're going to want to wrap this away from your face. And also, I make sure that when I wrap my hair, the hair is flat around the barrel. That way I get more of a curl and not a wave, because I'm going for more of the big bouncy curls. So once you let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds, you're going to drop it into your hand. You can either clip it at this point to let it cool, which will make your curls last all day, or you can just let it sit in your hand for five seconds and then drop it. So now moving on to my next piece of hair, you're just going to continue to do this. I do everything away from my face, that way it frames my face. So again, just wrap the hair flat around the barrel and then hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and then drop it in your hand and you're just going to continue to do this. When you're done curling the last piece of hair on your one side, go ahead and drop the curls and then spray it with your favorite hairspray. I love the GVP Volumizing Hairspray and I get it at Sally Beauty. I will link it down below, but it's my holy grail hairspray. I've used it for years. And now you're just gonna go to the other side and just repeat the process. Now that you've finished curling the bottom section of your hair, go ahead and clip it back just to get it out of the way. Go ahead and unclip the top section of your hair and then we're going to repeat the process, go all the way around your hair and again you're going to curl away from your face, keep the hair flat to the barrel. When I get to the bang section I'll kind of tell you a couple little tricks but I'm just going to let the footage kind of go because it's just the same thing, kind of repeat the process. So I will come back and let you know what I do around the bangs that might be a little different and help you style your hair to frame your face.
When you get to the parts around your face that frame your face, so it could be your bangs or just the front section, I like to turn the curling wand, I don't know if you can tell, I turn it totally sideways. So instead of having it facing down, the end of the barrel facing straight down, I turn it so it's facing left. That way it frames my face and you can see when I let the curl go, it gives me kind of that swoop that is in front of my face that kind of frames my face. So that's something that I always do and you'll see me do it on the right side as well on the front piece. It just frames your face and it's just the easiest way to kind of get that curl to stay kind of out of your like eyes but still kind of swoop over your face if that makes sense. Next, I'm just taking a teasing brush. This one is from Walgreens. It's a Conair brand. Just any teasing brush you have. And I'm just teasing kind of the crown of my hair and then the side just to give a little bit of volume before I go in and tease the ends. This is the next part. This is the big part that everyone's like, how do you get that big hair? How do you get the big hair? Take your teasing comb and tease from the bottom up. So you're gonna spray your hair with hairspray and then tease from the bottom up. And that's gonna give you a lot of volume, really big, tease kind of crazy hair. That's how I get the uh, hair for pictures on Instagram or just in my videos sometimes. And then you're gonna wanna spray your hair with hairspray. To get it even more big and voluminous, pull the hair strands up and then spray. So you can see me kind of doing it in the video. You just kind of pull your hair out and then spray in between your layers and that's gonna give you a lot more volume. So that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just thought I would do this just to give you kind of a little bit of overview of different ways to curl your hair with the wand. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.